Darren, 2 0 win, job done through to the next round. Just give me your thoughts on that one. Job done. That's about it from tonight for me, you know. Um, our standards are higher than that. Isn't it? They came here and played 5 4 1 and, you know, got behind the ball early on to try and stay in the game as long as they could. So I, un- I understand the game plan and that, but my God, we moved the ball sh- so slow and ponderous in the first half it was it was it was nowhere near our capabilities um, and then for a 10 minute spell at the start of the second half there looked like there was a little bit more urgency about um, what we was trying to do um, and then we, we we obviously got the goal and then for the last 10 minutes or so you know, once, once we'd got the second goal and they're, they're just slinging balls down our throat to try and get back in have one or two possibilities and that but you know it's, it, it is only job done tonight our standards are better than that It's one of the <clears throat> big positives to come from tonight the way we did defend when they came at us for that almost 10-15 minutes spell a lot of long balls into the air and the likes of Charlie Adams Elliot Johnson Dan Sweeney dealt with those balls particularly well They did and they, they done terrifically well on, on Saturday and listen I, I don't it don't sit right with me being negative. I'm I, I'm not a negative person, but you know I, I'm just the standards that I want for this team and this club are a lot higher than what we've produced tonight. The game should have been more comfortable than it was. Even at the end, at two nil up, you know we, we we're making some decisions on the ball where we're trying to go and get a third. But you just got to manage the game. Show some intelligence in in your play and that. And you know, but like you say, we we've we've stood up to them slinging balls in the box because they're trying to chase the game but just really frustrated that listen we've, we've kept the kept a run going and we're through to the next round of the, of the trophy which is which is what we was here to do tonight but I just want us to be better that's all Gold assist for Dan Sparks you must be pleased for him coming into the team so I played quite well he did he did um, and we just touched on we spoke to him at half time about Mauro and, and Sparksy just being higher up because you know I talk about the three five two so I knew that we was gonna dominate the ball tonight. So I wanted my wing backs to be as high as possible to get themselves in one v one areas uh, down the side of the pitch. And Sparksy was playing too deep in the in the first half and Mauro kept being too narrow. Um and for the start of the second half, our shape was better, which which led to us having a bit more intensity in our play. Um, but <clears throat> like I say, you know, please for Sparks, they, they, they both come in tonight, him and Mazza, and contributed to to a victory, and Sparks in particular with a with a goal and an assist. Ten games unbeaten now in all competitions. We've shown many different sides to our game, gritty, determined. We played some nice football along the way as well. You must be really pleased to get that tenth unbeaten, to get the unbeaten run to ten. Yeah, and I, I, I am, and uh, I'll say it again. I don't want to be negative. I'm just a, a little frustrated that we've we've made it really difficult for ourselves tonight. It should have been we we we, we can play better than that. But listen, the bigger picture is we're through. We've got uh, ten unbeaten. Confidence will be good. Um, we will have Callum back around us on on Saturday as well. Obviously gave uh, Mauro and Sparksy an opportunity tonight to, to get some minutes so there is pluses, there is pluses but my immediate feeling after a game like that is frustration because we made hard work of it but yeah, 10 unbeaten is something to be pleased with but we look forward to going again on Saturday now And this obviously sets up a what could be an absolute cracking cup tie here at the Hive in the next round against Barrow Yeah, we look forward to that You know, they'll, they'll come here and, and play they're a good side and they're the team showing their consistency at the minute, but you know we're 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 happy with our run and 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 where we feel that we're heading. So it'll be a game that we look forward to, um, and hopefully by then, like I say, we might have one or two back. Um, I'll just touch on that now, actually. That you know, um, Shaq very nearly made it tonight to 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 get himself involved in the squad, but. You know he's he's just not hundred percent right, and we don't want to take no chances. I don't want to I don't want him to have any setbacks because he's he's a great lad. Um, so we felt it was better for him to miss out tonight. Ricardo is targeting the Woking game, so we was hopeful for this Saturday. 
um, and there still may be a small chance, but we're, we're certainly hopeful um, that he'll be up and running by the, the Woking game. Harry Taylor's, you know, three weeks away maybe, which will which will be a big plus. So, listen, if we can stay in, in this run at the minute and keep picking up points and then we're getting some injuries back, hopefully add into the group as well, you know, it sets us up nicely for the, for the running. And just lastly, I want to touch on the fans who have turned out tonight to cheer your team on despite obviously the first two games being called off they come out here and got behind the team and we've rewarded them with a victory yeah listen and, and I always appreciate their support and, and the ones that turned up tonight can be you know really grateful the, the boys are always grateful for their support um, we're pleased that we've given them another victory um, and I, I, me personally I always you know, always appreciate them coming and get behind me and the team. Um, and, and I'd also like to mention the, the sort of dozen or so Farsley fans that, that made the trip. And I don't know if they were the same ones that made the trip last Tuesday, but credit to them for coming out on, after last week. So, you know, I, I wish them a safe journey home and, and, and credit to them as well. But really pleased for our fans that they've seen another win.